Hi friends, this is the first in the series of uh, videos about my Milagro Red Hawk 21. In my earlier video, the unboxing, I have shown the different parts briefly. So in this video, I am going to show each and every part in detail. So there are two wheels here for the movement of the robotic cleaner and a small uh, rotating wheel for the direction. So these two side brushes rotate inwards in a sweeping action collecting all the dust particles and pushing it towards the center brush here which is also rotating and the collected dust is then pushed by it into the dust box here. So while sweeping any hair found on the path gets entangled in these side brushes and also in the center brush and uh, other things like the like a little cloth strips or thread gets entangled in this middle brush. So these things have to be removed regularly. This is one important accessory which comes along with the robotic cleaner. This is a brush as you can see for uh, cleaning the various parts. And uh, this is also a hook type of thing to pull out the hair entangled. And also a blade with which you can cut it from the brush. The hair stuck in the brush. So these are the two side brushes which came as spare. And uh, you can see that they are like a uh, stick and hence the sweeping action. This is uh, fitted uh, with screws and it can be removed with a screwdriver and while cleaning you will have to uh, remove it with a screwdriver and clean it. I will be showing this in my maintenance video. So this is the filter combination. This also came as a spare which is inside the dust box which filters the minutest of uh, dust particles. So this is a magnetic strip which is used to prevent the robotic cleaner from entering an area which it should not enter. So next part is this uh, water tank. So if you want uh, mopping in your robotic cleaner, so this is an important uh, part for that. That is a water tank. This is uh, 110 ml capacity. You can fill water in this. And there is a microfiber mop cloth for this. And uh, how to fit this and how to install it on the robotic cleaner, I'll be explaining in a different video. So this is the docking port where the machine comes and docks itself for charging. So these are the two charging uh, poles and the machine goes and docks on this for charging. And this has to be kept flat on the floor. And this is the adapter for the charging dock. So you can see there are uh, sensors here for sensing obstacles, higher surfaces, thick carpets, etc. This is the top of the Redock 21, red color. There are just few buttons. There is a main power switch here. There is one uh, power uh, power button here and uh, this is actually standby button and a recharge button. There is a button here for ejecting the dust box. So this uh, Red Hawk 21 is red color. There is one more black color model which is the Black Cat 21. But there is one more model Seagull which is almost 10,000 less than this but it doesn't have certain features which these two have and that is there is no magnetic strip in seagull the, the metal sweeper is not there uh, water tank is uh, missing in that you just have a mop which can be uh, a wet mop can be stuck in the backside so you don't have a water tank for that red hog has got uh, 14 sensors while uh, seagull has got just 12 sensors red hog can uh, detect and uh, sense uh, errors whereas uh, the seagull cannot. So hope you found this parts and functions video useful. In my next video, I will be showing the vacuuming and uh, mopping. Stay tuned for more videos in this series. If you want to watch more such uh, videos on appliances, such similar videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, and you can also follow me on other uh, social media platforms, the details of which I have given in my description. And you can also support me on Patreon in case you like the contents of my channel. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye and take care.